yeah hi all this is hcf lcm second class and uh, we'll be continuing from last video we'll do third question right hcf lcm 3 sorry second class and we'll move to third question continuing from last video last concept only will carry on third question is hcf of two numbers is 6 and and their product is equal to 30240 okay so how many how many such pairs of numbers are possible how many such pairs of numbers are possible you can try it pairs of numbers are possible okay so funda is simple hcf of two numbers is six numbers has to be six a and six b and their product is this time three zero two four zero okay and where a and b has to be co prime a and b has to be co prime let's solve it now so a into b is equal to three zero two four zero by now six into six that is thirty six right I can do a bit mathematical calculation here. So, what is a into b? What is 30240 here? Let's think about 30240 as a number. Divisible by 6 looks like. Divisible by th uh, 5 looks like, right? So, you can break into their prime factors. So, if you break this into their prime factor, you'll find it is nothing but uh, divided by 36. So, first break, divide by 36. So, just simply cancel it. So, 36. Uh, into 8 times is 288 so it is 302 14 is left 14 and 4 144 so 36 4 times is 144 and 0 so a into b is 840 so a into b becomes 840 now what is 840 in terms of prime factors so 840 in terms of prime factor right so its prime factor will be what 2 3 5 and 7 for sure because 84 is what 12 into 7 so it contains a 3, it contains a 7, it contains a 2 and it obviously it is a multiple of 5 also. So it is the power of 2 here. So 2 will power will be 3. Okay, so A into B is this one. So now the question is in how many ways uh, this whole number can be written as a product of two co-primes. Two co-primes. Right, again, if you watch this factors 12 and 13 videos, right, so in the same video where we are explained euro number and how to uh, how to uh, write a number as sum of two co-primes there also i explained how to write a number as product of two co-primes right and if you remember right we derived this formula we have derived this formula right so please do watch that video we have derived that formula right what is that formula the formula was number of ways in which a number can be written as a product of two co-primes is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1 where n is number of factors n is number of factors it's not factors sorry prime factors so n is just number of prime factors i'm concerned with nothing else right number of prime factors nothing else right not its powers so in this case how, how many ways so it is for 2 raised to n minus 1 for unordered right it is for unordered and for ordered it is how much 2 raised to n 2 raised to n is for ordered for unordered 2 raised to n minus 1 for ordered 2 raised to n right this is in this question variables are not given so variables are not given so obviously it is what it is a case of unordered right or unless it until until it is mentioned in the question that find the ordered number of solutions right so if those terms are not mentioned ordered or unordered how to how to know that question is ordered or unordered I have discussed so many times for ordered variables should be given for unordered variables are not given right in this question variables are not given so unordered what is the answer answer is 2 raised to n minus 1 there are 4 prime factors here 2 3 5 and 7 so 2 raised to 4 minus 1 so 2 cube there will be 8 so 8 ways 8 is the answer 8 is the answer right so again a very good question right if it's clear it's fine any doubt please ping me in forum if any in case of any doubt now we'll move to next question now 
Okay, so question four I can write here. So question four is <clears throat> what is the HCF of HCF of two raised to six minus one, two raised to nine minus one, right? Now get the concept. This there's a direct funder to do it, right? But I'll explain you the concept behind it. So get to the concept. What is the concept behind this? <clears throat> See, we discussed already that HCF of a comma b is equal to is equal to any factor of right any factor of factor of b minus a right any factor of b minus a. So here also same thing I'll do. So what is this HCF? So HCF is equal to factor of okay factor of two raised to nine minus one minus two raised to six minus one. Okay, can write like this. Okay, so one one will get cancelled. So HCF is factor of two raised to nine and two raised to six. Right. So if it is HCF is factor of two raised to nine and so minus two raised to six. Okay. So it is factor of. Now take two raised to six uh, as common. It becomes factor of two raised to six. To two cube minus one, right? There are two factors here, right? One is two raised to six, and one is two cube minus one. So obviously, since two raised to six minus one and two raised to nine minus one, both are odd numbers, right? Both are odd numbers, na? Because two raised to any power is even number, and even minus one is odd. So HCF of two odd numbers is always odd, right? HCF of two odd numbers is always odd. So HCF can't be two raised to six, okay? Because two two raised to six is even. Therefore, what is the HCF? So HCF will be two cube minus one. Two cube minus one, okay? Then this factor I I broke right two nine uh, two raised to nine minus one minus two raised to six minus one. So if HCF is factor of this, right? This I factorize in terms of two raised to six into two cube minus one. These these are the two these are the two factors, right? For two raised to six minus one and two raised to nine minus one, first we took the difference because of definition of HCF of a comma b, right? And then we subtracted. So what is the what is the result? Result is in factorization form. This is result two raised to six into two cube minus one. So these are these are the two factors for this subtraction. Okay. So in these two factors, this is even and this is odd. So obviously this. Uh, HCF of two odd numbers will always be odd. It can't be even. Therefore, two raised to six cannot be a factor. So, what is a factor? Two cube minus one, right? So you can see it, right? You can directly do it, no? Because if if I if I write HCF of two raised to six minus one and two raised to nine minus one, so directly looks like what is HCF of six and nine? So HCF of six and nine is three. So keeping the base same, I can directly do two raised to three minus one. So I direct directly take HCF of six and nine, right? So you can treat like it is shortcut, but there is a concept behind the shortcut, right? So very important this funda. So I can write, okay, I can write that HCF of a raised to m minus one and a raised to n minus one is equal to HCF of sorry is equal to should write a raised to HCF of m comma n minus one. Okay, this will be the general formula for this type of problem, right? And this is the derivation. So, very important concept, right? So now I think we can directly do this kind of question. Okay, so let's say question number five. What is the HCF of let's say thirty-seven uh, raised to Twenty four minus one and thirty seven raised to twenty one minus one. So what is HCF? So HCF will be directly HCF will be directly thirty seven raised to HCF of twenty four comma twenty one minus one. What is HCF of twenty four comma twenty one? It is three. Right. Going going by the difference concept also, it is three. So thirty-seven cube minus one is the answer, right? Is clear, right? Now sixth one, sixth one. 
what is the hcf of what is the hcf of 3 raised to 192 minus 1 and 3 raised to 192 plus 1 okay so 3 raised to 192 minus 1 and 3 raised to 192 plus 1 right what is the hcf so now this is not in general pattern right because it is minus 1 and plus 1 here so again if you take the difference here so you can see it if you, take the, if you take the difference here the difference is 2 only right so if we take the difference hcf is equal to factor of factor of 3 raised to 192 plus 1 minus 3 raised to 192 minus 1 okay so this is like this is the factor so this will get cancelled so what is left hcf is what factor of 2 factor of 2 that is what is the answer 1 or 2 so factor of 2 is what 1 or 2 so in this case 2 will be the answer in this case 2 will be the answer because you can directly sense it 3 raised to 192 minus 1 and 3 raised to 192 plus 1 are are two consecutive even numbers are two consecutive even numbers right see power of 3 3 is an odd number right so it's any power will be an odd number only 3 3 square 3 cube 3 raised to 4 all are odd numbers only right so odd minus 1 is even here also sorry plus 1 will not be here plus 1 will be here here also this 3 odd plus 1 is even so odd plus 1 is even odd minus 1 is even so there are two consecutive even numbers because this is like minus 1 difference is this is 1 less than 3 1 3 raised to 192 and this is 1 more than 3 raised to 192 right so there are two consecutive even numbers so hcf of always right always you can write this hcf of any two consecutive even numbers is always one sorry always two hcf of any two consecutive numbers is always two right you can check for any number so you can directly write hcf of hcf of any two consecutive even numbers is equal to 2 always right similarly hcf of any two consecutive odd numbers is always 1 right so hcf of any two consecutive even numbers is 2 and hcf of any two consecutive odd numbers is what is always 1 okay so this is always true fine okay uh, so the next concept will be now see the question is hcf of sorry hcf of 777 written four times okay hcf of 777 four times and 7777 six times okay so what is the hcf here see uh what is the general rule for it right we'll discuss and then i'll give you the proof so how to arrive at that right the simple general rule is if it is like 777 is written four times and here it is written six times so the hcf is actually 77 written written hcf of 4 and 6 times right so what is the hcf 77 when written hcf of 4 and 6 times right so what is the hcf of 4 and 6 that is 2 so 77 written 2 times that is 77 so what is the answer 77 correct right I'll, again, I shall solve you how to solve, how to prove it, right? One more question first. What is HCF of 5555 five, 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 written 6 times and 5555 five, 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 written 9 times? Okay, so here 555 five, five is 6 times and 555 five, five is 9 times. What is the HCF? Okay. So its HCF is what? HCF of five 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 written written 
एच सी एफ ऑफ ओके एच सी एफ ऑफ सिक्स एंड नाइन राइट एच सी एफ रिटर्न एच सी एफ ऑफ सिक्स एंड नाइन टाइम्स राइट दैट इज फाइव 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 वट इज एच सी ऑफ एच सी एफ ऑफ सिक्स एंड नाइन थ्री सो फाइव 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 रिटर्न थ्री टाइम्स राइट सो फाइव 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 इज द आंसर ओके सो दिस इज अ जनरल वे टू डू इट राइट फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन द वेरी गुड क्वालिटी क्वेश्चन राइट नाउ विल सर प्रूव हाउ टू सॉल्व इट राइट वट इज द प्रूफ ऑफ इट ओके विल प्रूव बिकॉज अ गुड कॉन्सेप्ट राइट इन प्रूव ऑल्सो वी गेट सम गुड कॉन्सेप्ट राइट विल प्रूव इट नाउ सी हाउ टू प्रूव सो इज रिटर्न यूर रिटर्न यूर एच सी एफ ऑफ सेवन 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 एंड सेवन 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 राइट नाउ सी हाउ टू राइट इट बेसिकली so we write in we want to write it in some powers of 10 okay in some powers of 10 right it's a good concept we'll discuss this in this and also in a sequence and series chapter okay so uh 7 7 7 7 is written like this you take seven common it becomes 1 1 1 1 right and you multiply and divide by 9 it becomes 7 by 9 into 9999 okay it becomes 7 by 9 into 10 raised to 4 minus 1 10 raised to 4 minus 1 right similarly 777777 written six times right is equal to you take seven common it is like 111111 six times okay then multiply and divide by 9 Just to get to the powers close to ten, right? So multiply and divide by nine means it becomes nine 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 six times, right? Now what is it? Seven by nine, ten raised to six minus one. Okay. So now if I if I'm trying to find the HCF of these two, so what is HCF? Right. I told you HCF of AB is any factor of any factor of B minus A, right? Any factor of b minus a. Fine. So what is S of a b here? So here, what is the S of this term? So S of is equal to any factor of seven by nine, ten raised to six minus one, minus seven by nine, ten raised to four minus one. Fine. Now what will this give you? This will give you as. Uh, just let me rub rub this part. It will give you. All, we can write here. Okay. So it will give you like seven by nine into common from here. Okay. Now subtracting one one will get cancelled. Ten raised to six minus ten raised to four. Fine. Okay. Seven by nine. Again ten raised to four is taken as common. Okay. So inside is ten square minus one. That is seven by nine into ten raised to four into ninety nine. Right. Now this goes eleven times. So it is seventy seven into ten raised to four. So what is the answer? Any factor of what is what is the answer? Any factor of this term, right? Any factor of this term. So any factor. So now there are two factors, right? Factors are seventy-seven and ten raised to four. Since so since these two are odd numbers, these two are odd numbers. So their factor will also be odd number, right? So ten raised to four can't be the HCF. What is the HCF? Seventy-seven. So seventy-seven is the answer, right? Since these two are odd numbers, their factors will also be odd number, right? So you get seventy seven as the SCF. Okay, so this this how you'll get in every this kind of question, right? Just uh, make a general rule. General rule. What is the rule? If this digit is written here four times, this is here six times. Just take the SCF of four and six. That is two, right? But mind it, it is for it is for only repeated digits. It is only for repeated digits. Okay, repeated digits, right? Okay. In next video, we solve more questions. Okay, thank you.